Well, I just want to make a short video of what I've been up to. Um, hi, y'all. Uh, it's kind of dark out here. I guess my flash automatically comes on. But, uh, I built a kiln. Um, uh, melting furnace, what do you, whatever you want to call it. Um, I went the cheapest route possible. Um, I used two R1, R134A tanks, uh, I cut the top and one tank welded to the bottom for little feet to keep it off the ground. Um, I used the bottom off that other one to make the lid, which I think that I'm going to shrink down in size dramatically. Um, I'll probably make it pretty thin. Um, that way when I flip it back over to the top there, everything will all be good. Put it on uh, nice little hinges here, which is kind of cool. Um, Right now, I'm just running this little propane tank here to uh, uh, to dry it out. As you can see, it's starting to dry out. Um, I got it running in there, just that little little flame circulating around in there. You can see the steam kind of moving around in a circle as it's drying the kiln out. Um, I just used. Ever pet cat litter, which is basically, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, it's clay, same clay that you would use to make your furnace to fire your, uh, you know, your knives that you're hammering out, or like they did in the olden days. Um, but yeah, here it is, kind of up close and personal. It's not very tall, it's not very big as you can see to my hand size. It's about the size of my hand, top to bottom. Um, the walls in it are roughly, I don't know, about an inch and a half thick. Well, probably two inches thick. Um, as you can see down in there, I'm already getting some cracking as she dries out. But as she dries out, I'm going to be filling in all the cracks with, uh, you know, more mushed up kitty litter. And uh, I'll be running the living hell out of her. I'm going to be using it to melt aluminum. Um, Let's see where feet down here. I used the lid for feet. And uh, I tack welded the bottom to the, because it was round and it didn't really want to sit right because it was shaped like that. I would have to set it on that, and that didn't seem too sturdy for to me. But I'm going to cut this lid down thinner um, for the lid, and uh, I'll probably put a bunch of uh, iron or something through it so that. Um, and I haven't made the lid yet. I don't know. Maybe I'll just uh, make a separate lid. Um, I'm thinking maybe get a steel bucket, put the mortar, or not mortar, but um ugh. put the clay da, 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 put the clay in the bottom of the bucket and uh just set the bucket on top of it with the hole in the bucket and let the clay you know that way if it comes apart it's still in the bucket and I can just get it wet and smooth it out again and throw it back on top <clears throat> but that was today's project that's what I'm doing um, right now I just got the propane in there to uh, dry it out see how badly it's gonna crack being that I just used this thing cost me three dollars to build not including you know the purchase of the welder that I used to weld the metal and the grinding discs and everything but for the bags of cat litter there I used uh, Ever pet brand cat litter fragrance free just standard it's ground up clay they took a chunk of clay ground it up sold to you for your cat uh oh I don't know what that did that for it must be dying so I'll talk to you guys later bye